We were interested in different ways that the dancers could make sound that was integrated with uh, different things they were doing in terms of movement or dance scores. In particular, we were interested in ways of having them sing. So a lot of what you're seeing in this piece, these different kinds of structures for pitch or for the voices relating to each other, but each time they're using a different text and they're reading the text from these scrolls of paper that are in fact twisted into a Mobius strip so they can be totally continuous as they're going. The end of the year and the new year are only one day This is the first time that I've done anything involving uh, having the performers have earpieces. There is all the sound that I've composed that you hear that's in the space that's coming from the speakers, but then a lot of the work that I've done is creating this audio that just goes into the dancer's ears. Sometimes there are things like uh, a metronome that has a slowly changing tempo. Sometimes there are tones that are giving them pitches for singing. They're good singers, but they're not, you know, capable of like that kind of 10 minutes of silence while dancing and then landing on a perfect, you know, seventh chord or something like that all in tune. We have a kind of deconstructed drum kit that's sitting there and you're not sure what's going to happen. And then the first time you hear sound coming from it, it's actually coming from a little speaker that's hidden behind it. My hope is that we're pointing you in that direction of going, oh, the drum kit is just a prop, which then hopefully makes it somewhat surprising or more interesting when the dancers pick it up and take it out into the space and start playing the instruments. I love how game they are for doing some of the other weird things that I'm asking them to do on top of everything that they would already be doing as uh, dancers in a performance. I think that's something that I've liked about working for a long time with dance and kind of making that a focus of mine as a composer is that I find that contemporary performance people in general are a lot more up for doing something that is outside of the bounds of their training or a narrow version of what their training is than sometimes musicians are. And I just, I found these people in particular to really exemplify that. So yeah, I feel lucky to be involved with this thing. <laughs> <laughs>